At this point, I am confused. Really, really confused, guys. Make this make sense. Just yesterday, yeah, the Libya were saying that they wouldn't intentionally discriminate Nigerian and Nigeria super ego. That they pride themselves taking care of their host. That whatever Nigerians are saying might be a miscommunication and they were sorry. But today, the Libya are suing, threatening to take legal actions against Nigeria for failing to perform at the CAF competition. Nigeria backed out. They say we don't want to play a game on and carry the point. You now won't kill us. Make we go back to our country. But in Libya say, why you now come on for Libya? You now for remain for Libya and play the game. They said they will take legal action. In fact, let me read this uh, statement coming from Libya Football Federation. But firstly, who is Libya Football Federation? Libya has two governments. Just like us, we have uh, one government in Nigeria. Libya get two. So, who we are super egos playing against? <laughs> I don't even know why we even go there in the first place. Eh? I don't even know how we find ourselves in the country that has two governments. Since when Gaddafi by that country no get ahead again? Two governments. So, who were we playing against? So, according to the Libya Federation, Football Federation, they said, oh, why they make this thing small now? They want to destroy my eyes. They said, Statement of the Libya Football Federation regarding the match between our national team and the Nigeria team. Which national team? When I get to government. The Libya Football Federation con condemned the measures taken by the Nigeria Football Federation by refusing to play the Libya-Nigeria match in the Africa Cup of Nations. Qualifiers scheduled for Tuesday, October 15th. That is today. Stressing that it will take all legal measures to prevent the interests, to preserve the interests of the Libya national football team. The Libya Federation at, attached some inhuman footage that did not prevent the Libya mission from playing the Nigeria Libya match last Friday in Nigeria. Out of cooperation, with the Confederation of Africa Football. The Libya Football Federation clarifies that its Nigeria counterpart did not cooperate with it in any way, whether regarding the first or second leg match, noting that the event beyond our control do not equal a small part of what the Libya national team was exposed to in the first leg match. The Libya Football Federation apologizes to Libya football fans everywhere and to the parties consigning with the match arrangement due to the state of confusion caused by the Nigeria Football Federation, which led to the match not being held on time. We say we know they play again. You now say we must play. Now you now say you now want to sue Nigeria for, for saying they are not going to play. That is basically what they are saying. Nigeria said they discriminated them. They say, Lai Lai, oh, say you are going to sue you people. You guys should have waited because we, we passed through similar stuff in Nigeria. That is to say, you guys are furthermore, 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 agreeing with what we are saying that this is a winch hunt. This is a payback. <laughs> There's one of my guys called payback. <laughs> so this is a payback. What you guys are doing. But you guys have uh, clarified that again now. This is a payback. We had issues. 
we South Africans, but we know the whole South Africa anyhow. Ghana, we know the whole Ghana anyhow. So many other countries make with they drag each other. With the host they were. Libya, we know they drag Libya. We never even know what it because Libya said. We know they they drag them. I beg eh? Libya, you guys shouldn't use this issue to winch out our brothers and sisters in Libya. Don't use this matter to winch out our brothers and sisters in Libya. Please. You now don't do enough. That will show you how wicked people are. If people have done enough, do not winch out our brothers and sisters over there. Because you feel like you now have everything. You feel like you now have the power because there are so many Nigerians there. We also, we also have Libyans here as well. Though. Please, let it just end there. And guess what? That theory point coming to Nigeria, not going to you. Because the world saw what you guys did. The CAF have already launched an investigation and they are going to deal with those parties who were found guilty. You say you slap me. You no complain, say, I slap you. You, you no complain, say, I slap you. You keep quiet. You can't slap me. I can't shout. You can't just say, I first slap you. Now, lie, no evidence. You go explain, tire. Now, me go win you. Because now, me complain. You no complain. Why you no complain? Why you no complain? <laughs> Thanks to Libya as well for letting us go. But it was a horrible 18, 20 hours of experience, and we don't want to go through that. We know how football can light the entire world. It's entertainment. But in this regard, for them to act like this is. I cannot really comprehend. It's quite unfortunate. How do you intend to face half and the other football federation? Because some people are saying you will be punished for not playing the game on. There's Tuesday. no way you can play under that circumstance. If you were there, you would tell us to start coming back home. It was impossible to do. But I think cap the humans and they will do the investigation and come up with the uh, best yeah, solution. Do you think this would traumatize the player too much? No, 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 no. No, they have to mentally they are very strong. They don't have a problem with that. Thank you very much. Apparently <laughs> this is an air program. You know things are rolling. You know you're in the middle of nowhere. Wilderness, it's not even wilderness. Um, this is kind of stressful. Fam. Just add that the Libya Football Federation president has stepped down shortly after the conflict with, uh, the, with uh, the Super Eagles Nigeria. So the guy has resigned. This is, a, this is a matter that involves the whole country. Even the, uh, the hotels were informed not to allow Nigerians. Even the airport staffs were informed to discriminate Nigeria. Bus drivers were also informed. So this is something that everybody... I, I cannot imagine an entire country planning Nigeria matter like this. <laughs> an entire country sat down to say, we are going to plan their matter, don't worry. We are going to deal with them. An entire country planned and decided to treat Nigerians like this. How about that? At least if it was uh, one mistake, it's understandable. But this one, an entire country came together. Came together. Yesterday, players were afraid now. Players were afraid. Made them know all those uh, uh, Talibans. But there are so many other, uh, uh, all those other people there. Make them know come. Come carry AK-47 and their barrier and everything. Go there, we lead them. A Libya be like, say, to, you know, safe because of the uprise. You say made uh, Nigeria players travel by road without security. A country that is ruled by two governments. Come on now. Come on now. A country ruled by two governments. You say made they enter. <laughs> Come on now. It's impossible now. It's impossible. One by one. We know the goals. One by one. Hey. Company to film us 